This is me at 4.4% body fat. Kind of cool, right? But at what cost? These are the crazy things I did to maintain 4% body fat for nearly two years. So Tristan Lee is 4% body fat. And if you look up the word shredded in the dictionary, it will literally show you a picture of him. At what cost did it take to get to 4% body fat? We are going to find out. So I will be following his diet and workout for the day at 4% body fat. Burn more, eat less. This was one of the most psychotic ways to live. Look, we are going to figure out exactly what it takes takes to get down to 4% body fat and stay there for over two years. But look, this all starts in the kitchen. With that being said, I'll see you all at the grocery store. So if you think that Tristan Lee looks crazy, well, my friends, his diet is even crazier. It is absolutely insane. So with that being said, I'm gonna pick up all the foods we're going to need. Follow along. <laughs> Scared is an understatement. So I just got back from the grocery store with all the foods I'm going to need for Tristan Lee's 4% body fat diet. And my friends, these food combinations would scare even the craziest shredded vet. We have pasture raised eggs, canned sardines, canned salmon, a salmon filet, shrimp, ribeye steak, and lean ground beef. One hell of a combination we got going on for a very high protein, high fat, and extremely low carb, actually no carb diet. So with that being said, said, let's go ahead and get started with meal number one. Wish me luck. Okay, if you eat this for breakfast, you deserve to be shredded. So we have meal number one, which is going to consist of five whole eggs and 150 grams of salmon. I generally don't think I've ever had salmon and eggs paired up together, especially for breakfast. So we are definitely in for one hell of a quote unquote treat. That is really good, but breakfast. Just can't put my mind to think it's breakfast right now. It is good though, very good. Does it pair up with the eggs? Oh man. Honestly, not bad at all. It really does taste good. There's like a powerful fatty flavor. And speaking about fatty, so as I mentioned earlier, guys, this diet is going to consist of being very high fat and high protein and like no carbs whatsoever. I think there's eight grams of carbs in the entire diet, which is insane because he mentions he ate like this for almost two years. Wow, I'm just very interested how my blood sugars are going to be, how my insulin control is going to be like. Eating such high fat and low carb like this, I do have type 1 diabetes, guys, so it's definitely a little bit different for somebody like me. I'll let you all know how that goes later down the line in the video, but not bad. All right, so I'm currently at the gym, and I think one of the most shocking thing about Tristan Lee is not the fact that his diet is absolutely insane and he's at 4% body fat. It's the fact that he can train and do so much physical exercise being 4% body fat. I mean, the dude has got to be running on adrenaline. What he typically does is 10 to 12 hours of strength training sessions per week. 10 to 12 hour and a half long strength training sessions per week. Yes, that means two a days most days. Most days doing two a days. However, today I don't want to do a two a day, so I'm just going to do my typical back and shoulders workout routine however take my time with it and add a couple of more strength training exercises so with that being said let's get to it and uh just try to survive <laughs> So I really took my time with today's workout because to be honest, I just feel like I didn't have that much energy. I was a little bit sluggish because I'm not used to having such high fats in the morning with absolutely no carbs before my training session, especially if I'm trying to weight train heavy. So honestly, I did not hit that many personal records with my strength training session today. And I definitely did rest a little bit more during my rest periods in between my sets. And here's one thing that Tristan Lee did talk about while he was maintaining 4% body fat for two years is that he went through 
strength regression. So that means you are literally going backwards with your uh, strength training, you know, progress in the gym. My strength was regressing. I went from pressing 120 pound dumbbells to three months later only being able to press 110 pound dumbbells for the same amount of reps. So that's definitely something that you will experience if you're at a super low body fat level, which obviously I don't think any of us are sitting at 4% body fat anytime soon. But anyways, I'm doing some walking on the treadmill because Tristan Lee also is an animal and does 15 to 20,000 steps per day. And he did this for two years straight. 10 to 20,000 steps a day, upwards of 20,000 for two years straight. I have the speed on 3.0, the incline on six. I'm gonna do this for about an hour because that would equate to probably around 15,000 steps. So wish me luck. genuinely afraid. So we have meal number two, which is going to consist of six ounces of ribeye steak with a whole egg on top. We also have 100 grams of shrimp to the side and three ounces of canned sardines. Look at the combination of foods I have on my plate. Tristan Lee, you are an absolute animal. And again, I'm gonna say it time and time again. I mean, you deserve to be 4% body fat, bro. Is it worth it? I don't know. That's up to you guys to decide. By the way, I'm only putting the egg on top like this because I watched his YouTube video and that is exactly how he did it. So we're gonna give this a go. I don't think I've ever done this. Mmm, that's good. Mm. Oh, the wetness going on in my mouth right now. Very good. Explosion of flavors. It's literally steak and eggs, but it's ribeye steak. It's very delicious and fatty. We're gonna go with the shrimp. I've never had a ribeye steak, shrimp, and eggs. And on top of that, sardines. That's just like the cherry on top of absolutely no sundae. Let's try. It's good. I like shrimp. I don't think it goes well with steak though. It's not bad. Okay, we're gonna try the long-awaited dreaded sardines. Why am I doing this? This is crazy. <sighs> Why am I eating this big of a bite? Holy shit. We're just going in. Raw doggy. Hold it in! Oh, oh. At least it doesn't have the bones. Some of them have the bones and stuff. Oh my gosh. I think I know what Tristan Lee does. He washes that down with the steak to make it all better. Mm. Yeah, the sardines aftertaste. Even the freaking ribeye steak does not help do it any justice. Wow. So I can guarantee that at 4% body fat, your mind is playing serious tricks with you. I mean, you will look at this and seriously crave it and think that it looks like a plate of cake because I have dieted to a low body fat level before, maybe like six and a half at most, 7%, and it was miserable. I would literally look at whole eggs and think it was a chocolate covered peanut. I mean, you go that crazy. This was one of the most psychotic ways to live, in my opinion. Don't recommend it. It's definitely uh, not fun. All right, so I'm really trying to dig deep for some energy right now because my body's really not used to this super high fat diet with absolutely no carbohydrates. But here we are yet again at the gym because Tristan Lee typically does four 20 to 30 minute hit sessions a week. I'm just gonna keep it full of variety because I'm really, really not trying to be here right now. So I'm gonna do a little bit on the treadmill, a little on the salt bike, a little bit on the jump ropes. Pretty much what Tristan typically does, which is insane. I don't get it. Burn more, eat less. The dude is like full of energy, he's an alien. So two things I want to share with you all with how I'm feeling right now. Number one, I'm actually very, very tired and exhausting. So the exercise for me is actually probably the hardest part about this all. As crazy as that sounds because this diet has been absolutely insane. It is a lot of work, guys. I cannot imagine doing this every single day for two years straight, let alone two months. But number two, this salmon. Don't ever open canned salmon. It smells absolutely terrifying. We have 
Meal number three here, which is again gonna consist of canned salmon. We have five ounces of the lean ground beef and three whole eggs. Another thing that I wanna show with you all that I'm feeling is that I can't tell if I'm hungry or not. Like I'm full and I'm satiated because of the high fats and the high protein, but I like want to eat, just not meat. No, no protein. Like I'm really craving some carbs. Maybe it's because I'm not used to eating high fat like this, but wow. I love ground beef and eggs, but I've already had so much. I mean, this is the first time we're having ground beef and canned salmon. Wow, okay, let's give this a go. Anything canned, guys. I'm not a fan of canned sardines, even canned tuna. Not a fan, 4% body fat. Can't complain, right? Whether or not you think his diet and workout are absolutely out of this world, one thing is certain, Tristan Lee's hard work and dedication is second to none. I mean, to be able to do this for two years straight, he is literally the Elon Musk of the fitness industry, and that's a huge compliment. But check this out, guys. We not only did almost three and a half hours worth of exercise, his total macros and calories in his diet plan consisted of 2,073 calories coming from 128.4 grams of fat, 213.5 grams of protein, and 8.5 grams of carbs. Wow, talk about accuracy, right? I mean, we're at the point fours and fives here. Became so obsessive to the point of delusion. Anyways, it just goes to show you how serious he is about this, and no wonder why he's 4% body fat, but he did do many videos showcasing his experiences with being 4% body fat and how much that messed him up. Some of the downfalls of the seemingly glorious lifestyle that you guys have seen over the past few years with me maintaining sub 5% body fat, 4.4. And how he does not recommend it to most people. So I do appreciate and respect someone who has that big of a platform to speak on how you should not replicate that. This was one of the most psychotic ways to live. With that being said, much respect Tristan. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, just make sure you smash the like button right now. And then if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. If you do need help with your diet and your training, check out my programs linked in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll See every single one of you in the next video.